Yo, 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 what's going on guys? And welcome to another episode of Life of Lomax. I am Gil Lomax. Marcia Lomax. Yeah, and we're doing another car bang for you guys today. Yeah. So we was excited about the last one we did at Chipotle and we decided that we was gonna do it again. Yes. And I don't have my cell phone, I have my Sony camcorder in the car. I didn't think that it would work. Um, I didn't think that it would be the right distance, but look, it looks like it's working. It looks like it's working. We doing all right. <laughs> so you can see the quality has now been brought to the car. Yeah. So guess what we're eating today? You want to tell them? Cheese steaks. We are eating cheese steaks and hoagies from Hoagies and Hops. Here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Our girl Christina hooked us up with two cheese steaks and a hoagie. So I'll be eating two sandwiches, and Marcy, she's really not that hungry, so she'll just be eating the cheese steak. So, yes. That's a cheese steak. Yep, yep, this yep. This is the hoagie, you'll see that and, in a minute. And we got these sodas on deck. Yep, so these are dope too. And I, my, this one right here is the vanilla cream in her orange. So. She opened mine up for me already. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I love cheese steaks. Ever since Bill took me to Philly. Yes. Oh, these are hot. And these are the closest things to Philly cheese steaks that you're going to get here in Indianapolis because she's from Philadelphia. She brought the recipe and the ingredients with her from PA to here. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Oh, ooh wee. Look okay. that cheese. Yes, let's get this thumbnail in. Look at that cheese, though. All right, so oh. you got to do it open. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. It's a bit messy. So, you got to be careful. Whatever. Even me. All right. I mean, it's messy. It's hot. All right, here we go. All right, cool, cool, <laughs> kachu. Oh, Lord, thank you for this food we're about to receive for a nurse and for our bias for Christ Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. Yes, we got our air on. Hopefully, it's not too loud. She gave us these deets and watts. Uh, uh, little you wrapping don't want papers. To put one under you or no? Are yeah, you go ahead. Because we told her we were doing it in the car. She was like, Oh my gosh, she gave me a nap, some, uh, a bib. <laughs> yes. So she hooked us up with these so that we wouldn't make a mess. <laughs> All right. Let's dig it on in. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm out of hot. Already a mess. Are you hot? A little bit. Mm. I mean, you eat like it ain't hot. Mm. Made with the best ingredients. Great meat, seasonings, the bread, the cheeses, the onion. Oh. So we got mm. onions, provolone cheese, American cheese, and cheese whiz. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I like about Philly's cheese steaks because they have cheese whiz. Like Penn Station and stuff, they don't have cheese whiz. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, as soon as I'm able to pick this up, I should have to hold it, put this in, in fours. Mm. I mean, mine is steaming hot. I mean, here's Louie, I already know what happened here. Why haven't started? Mm. We've already done a review. But we haven't really did a mukbang. On hoagies and hops in the past. But again, they were just reviews. Now we're doing a banger in the car. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll see that. Mm -hmm. Did it 
focus. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that, that cheese. Onion is that, that cheese pull. Mm. So how you guys doing today? We out here, people watching. <laughs> people walking up and down these streets, the Boulevard and uh, what is this, Boulevard and what? 42nd. 42nd Street. So people from Indianapolis, hug the house. 42nd and Boulevard. Best cheese steaks in India. Or if you're ever in the area. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See that chicken spot on there? Second half. Mm. So, y'all. Yeah. Gail lived in Philly. How, you, how many years? About two, three. two and a half years. But I was in and, out, in and out of Philly growing up. That was where my dad's family's from. Yep, so after he got away from high school, he went to Philly with his daddy for about three years. And when he took me, I love Philly, y'all. Mm -hmm. You talking about culture, history. Mm-hmm. Yep. Old historic buildings. Mm hmm. It's very artsy. People are amazing. They're so nice. Public transportation. Yep. First time ever on the trolley. Let's huh. call a trolley. Mm hmm. Mm. You don't have to have stuff in Indianapolis. Nope. I was so excited. I was like, I'm on a trolley. Yeah, a little stuff excites me. I was like, I'm on a trolley. We got riding in the trolley in the middle of the street. Right, I was going to say, tell them where a trolley <laughs> is for those who don't know. It's like um, a subway, right? Mm hmm. It's like a subway. It's like a train, but it's above ground. And mm -hmm. it is so cool. So you're like in the middle of the street, cars coming from both sides. Oh, she own this place? Yeah, it looks like it. Yellow studio, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you're like on a train in the middle of the street. And I'm like, ah! We're about to run to that car. And it also goes underground. It's both on the street and underground. Mm-hmm. So that's something I've never experienced before because, you know, we don't have that stuff like that in the Midwest. Mm. It don't make no sense for this to be so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got cheese all on my face. So I don't even care. What now? Mm. Um, I don't think I finished it. But we have extra mayonnaise. I want three cheeses, provolone American and cheese whiz and onions. Put that meat that fell off. Mm. So we usually go see Gil's dad in Philly once a year. Around his birthday. But COVID this year. And we missed last year, too. So it was way overdue. Head back to Philly, huh? For us to go back to Philly. Mm. That's so delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm like, 
Oh, she's fucking her dog. Oh. So that's looking down too. Looking all fluffy. Well, she just got the bad tub. <laughs> Blow dried her hair. Mm -hmm. mm. You got a nap right there, honey. It's used up. <laughs> you got another one? Oh. I'm typically not a messy eater, but due to the circumstances of us being in the car, he cannot stand for his hands to be dirty. I hate it. <laughs> it's all good though. It's still so good outside that. You got a piece of cheese hanging from your chin. Can y'all see that? I can't see it. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Look back. Y'all see that? I that's, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It feels so good outside, y'all. Yeah. It does. Like when I was like, oh my gosh. It feels so good out here. Well. I'm not even doing half my sandwich. Are you totally done? She's taking them. That way, um, uh, I don't know. She's taking them. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give myself a little break, sip on my soda, and then I'm gonna have a hoagie next. Now, what's a hoagie? One of the best sandwiches you can get. And it's an Italian hoagie. Well, I think a hoagie is last than Bill Cosby. Yep, from the Cosby Show. <laughs> Used to always be eating a hoagie. Mm. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> I don't even saw that. Yes. What's she got on? She walked out like, I am here. Uh -huh. I have a rat. What, what is this? I think it's a beauty shop. All right. I yeah, see you. I think it is a beauty shop. It's a beauty shop and a yoga studio. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're still people watching. <laughs> mm. That was one tasty sandwich. What? Yes, indeed. Miss I miss her so much. What I really miss? do. What you miss about it? What do I miss about it? I miss <laughs> the fact that the city is family. The city is family where, like, you never meet a stranger. You can hold conversations with random people and People could just walk up and say, y'all know each other? And be like, no, we just met. I miss, I miss the, uh, the culture as far as it being, like well, he about to make a man. Like a man. Yes. He made me nervous. And watch this right here. Turn that. There we go. Getting cheese on the leather and wood. I'm glad she gave us this little napkin thing. Yeah. This little, uh... Look, I got a sandwich, too. You know, they probably real, real, real excited that they got their uh, they yoga and their hair studio right across the street from Hoax and Hops. Right. <coughs> mm -hmm. Hold on, let me see something. Let me try something. Okay, never mind. You better, make, you better mess never up mind. the whole video. Never mind. Whole video about to be messed up. I was going to try to scan in, but it's too close to the back and it's on the window. <laughs> anyway, maybe I'll buy a remote that mm -hmm. can let me do that. 
Anyway, what was I saying? Ooh, nice Volvo. Nice what? Volvo. Yeah. I thought Volvo. Vol Volvo. Volvo. Did y'all say Volvo or Volvo? It's, there's an L in it. V O L V O. I said uh, Volvo. What did I say? Volvo. Volvo. <laughs> You say anyway, so what was I saying? Ah, uh, la 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 la, the culture. I miss the culture where there is a lot of ethnicity and unitedness. Blacks, whites, Asians, Hispanics. I mean, there's there's like no type of like at least obvious differences. Cheese and man, sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, you you like I mean every place has its crimes or whatever, but I just felt like in Philly it was just completely different. And it used to be one of the most dangerous cities, but now it it it, it really hasn't been that way. Uh they have a lot of festivals like uh a Dune Day, Unity Day, uh they used to have Greek Week. I haven't seen that in forever. And uh, and if you don't know, Philadelphia has like a bunch of universities that are in the city. You got Villanova, you got uh, Penn State, uh, University of Pennsylvania, Drexel, Temple, and then not too far you got like Rutgers. I think that's Jersey though. But still, that's like that's six universities right there. That's all in in the same vicinity. And it's so much fun. Young folk there, um, you know, really hip and oh, and the food, duh, the food. <laughs> like every restaurant is bomb. Every corner you have like a Chinese store that you could be able to go into and be able to get like all kinds of chop suey and your uh, sesame chicken and fried wings and their famous sweet teas and their lemonades that's made home fresh and they all taste the same. It don't matter which one you go to, it all tastes the same. It may sound like, oh, uh, really? But it is good. Like, all of them taste great and it's consistent. Every corner has some type of deli that you can get a cheesesteak or a hoagie from or uh, um, you can get other type of foods too, like uh, water ice. For those who don't know what water ice is, you need to educate yourself. Water ice mm -hmm. is one of the best sweet treats that you will get, period. And then you got uh, the, the Philly pretzels. Pretzels were bomb. Um, and of course, do 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 yeah. Best ice cream ever. So of course, what's that? Which one is that? Black cherry. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Mr. Softy, y'all. That's a that's a good ice. That's not a regular ice cream truck. That's why I can't never open my own drink, y'all. Use that here. This is like the last two videos. I couldn't. <laughs> Thank you. It's all good. Uh huh. Um. But yes, there's a lot. Oh. Oh, wait. What you drinking? I got the same one, but this is a vanilla one. Uh, this is good. Uh-oh. Marcy likes the wild cherry. I was not prepared for this. I didn't know it was going to be that good. There you go. That's good. And what brand is it? Hanks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I can't wait to go back. Might have been lived there one day, I don't know. Just might, huh? Just might. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But I really liked it too. I'm ready for we my to... hoagie, please. We went to Philly. This is a totally different atmosphere in the Midwest. Like, your daddy and all the neighbors in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. they just walk into, walk into each other's house. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. It's funny you said that because. Um, again, like I said earlier, the people there, like, you know, you feel like family. Now, if strangers feel like family, what make you, th what, like, what, like, imagine the people you do know, how they gonna treat you. On our block, like, we know everybody on that block. Dad has been there, dang near all his life. <laughs> and, um, 
I uh, showed Marcy that block and I was like, let me introduce it to everybody. So we parked the car and said hi to dad. And then when we walked out, I went right next door. Went right next door and I just walked in the house. Marcy was like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, oh, I forgot, huh? Y'all Midwesterns, y'all y'all got to knock on doors and stuff like that. I walked in like, yo, yo, yo. They were like, who's that? I said, it's Baby Gil. They know me as Baby Gil. Baby Gil? Mm -hmm. Hey! Mm -hmm. They all like, hey, how you doing, son? This da, 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 da. You hungry? Right, you hungry? <laughs> it was Man. trying to feed us. Yep. I was so excited to see you. Yep. And I was like, hey, how's it going? I was like, this is my wife, Marcia. Hi, Marcia. How Thank you so doing, much. baby? You uh, hungry? You want right. something to eat? Right. They so were right. in the kitchen cooking. All the ladies in Philly, they know how to cook. They throw down mm -hmm. daily. Gil's cousin. She's the cook, too. Yeah. But, tell us about Uncle Mike. Oh, yeah. So, that night... That first night when I when I took her to Philly, uh, my uncle Mike, uh, he pretty much he's like at the time I think he was like uh, uh, maybe fifty three ish or something like that. Uh, my uncle Mike he uh, has a uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but he he has a, a little bit of a, a mental disorder. Uh, but uh, he's he's still functional. He can still talk to you. He has a memory and things like that. Um, but I say that because that's part of the story. Um, so he remembers me, of course, my nephew Gil. This is my nephew Gil, my nephew Gil. So that night, when uh, when we first got there, Uncle Mike had walked into our room while we were uh, unpacking. And uh, he was like, so Marcy, <laughs> um, what's going to be for dinner tonight? <laughs> I cracked up laughing. Mars was like, uh, what? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. He's used to the ladies being the cooks in the house. Like, everyone that walks in the house, whether if it's uh, it was grandma before she passed or uh, my aunties or my cousins or neighbors, when they all come to the house, they always, they, they fix something. I'm like, you messing with the wrong one, bro. Uh, um, like, no, she, she Midwest. What are you talking about? Like, cook what? <laughs> I go buy something. He has the most confused look. <laughs> he, he was, was so like, good. he was like, what? I'm like, Uncle Mike, I'm not about to cook. He was like, what? <laughs> I was like, sorry, Uncle Mike. I said, wrong one. Not this one. So, to continue the story, though, <laughs> so we had went right next door and saw her. Went across the street to one of our other neighbor's house. Same thing. Boom. Doors open. Walked myself in. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh -huh. Who's that? It's Baby Gil. Baby Gil! Hey, what's up? How you doing? Are you hungry? Right. Come on in, sit down. I was Let's like, we, we just ate. He's like, you already ate over there? <laughs> I was like, well, here's the to-go. Here's the to-go, here. Mm -hmm. And it it was like that pretty much the the next four, maybe five houses after that. Yep. Like, you know, but the point I'm making is the culture is different. Yep. I love it. Yeah. So nice. Everybody's so nice. Right, they accepted Marcy with open arms. Mm -hmm. So nice. Started telling her stories about how, like you know, all oh, Baby Gill is so, like you know, this and so that. And for a second, I thought he was gonna get with my granddaughter or something right. like that. Right. That's like happening. Mm-hmm. Big granddaughter and Gil. <laughs> And I said, you're the one that caught him, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, that smells good. I smell the onions. The hoagie. Mmm. 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 That's that Bill Cobby sandwich. Hoagie. Just see, uh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, y'all see Bill Cosby's mugshot? Did you see it? Mm -hmm. I felt so bad for him. I felt so sorry for him. Is that good? Mm hmm. What's up? 
Tell the exactly. people what's up. What's up? Mmm. <laughs> I can't remember. Wow. What is the meat? They got a lot of meat. But there's specific names for them that I can't remember. Mm -hmm. They got onions, lettuce, mm -hmm. mayonnaise. Yeah. Oil. Yep, all that. It smells good. Mm hmm. It's the Italian hoagie, right? Mm hmm. Mmm. Tastes just like home. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, why don't you go ahead and tell your side of that first day? When we first walked into Aunt, uh, Miss Ann's house. First thought she got these cute dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Her dogs are so cute. But she's like, come on in. Glad to meet you. Baby girl, this baby girl. Talk about how everybody love baby girl. Right. Let me sit down. Maybe eat something. Oh, I got a girl. Well, they were so nice. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so nice. I just feel so comfortable there. Mm -hmm. Everybody nice. And then we will walk down to the corner store. Nope, remember what it's called? Ho hos. I knew that. Huh? I knew that. Yep. yep. Yeah, watch the ho hos. Me, Gil, and Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike, remember what I said? Where? Mm -hmm. Uncle Mike was so excited. He was like, I'm going. I'm like, come on. Um, and then ho hos, they sell, they used to sell cheese days. They don't sell no more, do they? I don't know where they went. I think they were renovating the grill or that kitchen area. And it's right down the street. One thing about Philly too, they have a corner store. Every corner. Every corner of the store. And they sell cheese sticks. <laughs> but our favorite spot for cheese steaks is Jim's. Jim's, baby! Look at this cheese, y'all, that I'm about to eat. If you know me, you know I like cheese. About to grow up on this cheese. Um, Jim's cheesesteaks are so good. Um, yes, ma'am. I don't even like ketchup, but <laughs> I think the first or second cheesecake I had from there, they put ketchup on it. I had no clue what was on there. Cause the sandwich was so good. So, Gino's and Pat's. Uh, cheese steaks, famous cheese steaks in Philly too. Those are for tourists. Yeah. So he took me there the first time. Mm -hmm. They was good, but Jim's. Jim's is so good. If you had to choose between Jim's and Pat's, which one? Pat's. I remember. And they right across the street from each other. Mm -hmm. And it's like bright, a whole bunch of lights. Geno's has the lights. Pat's doesn't. Um, I can't remember which one I taste better. I'd say Pat's too. I want to say Geno's, but if I had to go off a of taste, I would have to go with Pat's. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the kids there are real independent. <laughs> I'm like, why am I going to walk somebody by myself? Mm-hmm. I went to the corner store. Oh, oh my God. I was nine. My niece said that she was walking. I told her that, too. Kids. She was a kid walking by themselves. <laughs> to the store, walking out with groceries, bags of hair products, and... Mm-hmm. It reminds me of back in the day. Yeah. The stories they tell about back in the day. That's how funny it seems. Kids in the middle of the street. And double dutch and stuff. <laughs> That's what we do too. <laughs> Black.
block parties, lit. Gil's daddy does the uh, DJ. DJ and follow black parties. Black parties. You said black, black parties. parties. Follow black party. See, look just like your daddy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all the cheese I'm gonna get out there. Oh, I can't believe how good that was. I'm gonna save this for later. By the head of my mama house, she got her one. You know she like that. She use the other half. <laughs> okay, I'm saving it. No, it's both of us. <laughs> you napkin? Yeah, please. Who didn't do too bad on the mess? Nope. Look, I ain't spilled nothing. You don't spill nothing, honey. Thank you. Thank you. That but, hit the spot. I'm going to say that was the bomb diggity, guys. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I like this one better than the orange. I always get orange when I come here. Wow, that's a big jump. It is. This is a good day. Is that the car must hit you? I'm going out. <laughs> But yes. Mm. I've heard that's good. That's a nice bus. I wonder if this is the owner. You better not back up in my car. I know that much. The bay. I'm about to blow. <coughs> oh, okay, you stop. She probably see us in here too. <sighs> if y'all can see what we see sometimes. Right. We can have to turn the camera around one day. Stack of people watch with us. We like people watching. Okay, he's good now. All right. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video and dining with us and listening to us talk about Philly and our and our food and experiences. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. And if we don't say it enough, here's another time. Thank you so, so, so much for being our fans. We appreciate your views. We appreciate your feedback and your comments and your shares yes. and your likes. Yes. We see all of it, and we appreciate you guys. Yes. So thank you guys so much. We still got goals to reach, and you guys are going to help us get there. So we appreciate it. Yes, we do. We yep. do appreciate it. Thank you. So until next time, folks, peace out. Peace. Oh.